Welcome friends, here we shall see the procedure to draw the projections of a uh, cone so in a uh, given position. So we note that the uh, cone is lying on its circumferential uh, base points on the ground and the axis is inclined here also at uh, axis inclined to VP at 60 degree. So when the axis is inclined to VP, so we will take the initial position such that it is uh, perpendicular to VP and uh, in that case the front view of the line, so let us uh, start with making first the XY line and then the, so first of all the, sorry, I want more space on this side, so XY line we make and then we make the uh, ground line it is 100 mm so a circle uh, of uh, 100 mm will be 100 mm diameter will be drawn it is lying on the base uh, circumferential base point so the fx is towards uh, the observer that means uh, the it is visible apex is visible here so that means uh, uh, basically so we shall have uh, the cone, um, sorry, uh, the line, so the base like this and its uh, uh, apex is somewhere here towards the observer. So towards the observer means it is towards uh, the front, uh, front view itself. So here, so this is uh, how it will appear. And finally, we note the inclination is to be done. So the cone is copied here, and its inclination has to be made at 60 degree to be the axis of the cone. So at present, the axis is at 90 degree. If I rotate it with the, some base point, so let us say this base point I use by 30 degree, then the axis of the cone will be uh, at an angle of uh, 60 degree. Now you know this is the apex, so apex is in the middle, so apex in the previous case is uh, from the middle point to this point to and uh, either way so here we drop the perpendicular so this is the position of the apex and what about the base so the base will be uh, now converting to an ellipse now what is the location of the ellipse how do we locate the ellipse so that is important so from here we drop the perpendicular up to this point this is uh, one side one point on the ellipse so then we get another point on the ellipse so then line from the mid of this so the other two points will be lying on this line so other two points where are they so they are uh, uh, obtained by the intersection or, 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 or simply you know that uh, so these four points are there so we can use the ellipse command directly and ellipse command with uh, one end here other end here and on the other side it is here so this is the ellipse so we have to join now the apex with the base so here we don't have base corners so we have to rather draw the tangents from this point or two off and tangent you have to draw to the ellipse the line tangent to the ellipse and again line 
from this point and tangent to the ellipse so this is how it will look like but you note that the base is uh, away from the observer so if some portion of the base is blocked by the solid so that portion will be removed that means this portion so coming between this line and this line so that needs to be removed so what we do for that we trim it so that it needs to be converted to hidden line so the procedure is we will first trim it and uh, then again draw, redraw the ellipse so for redrawing the ellipse I will again need uh, the points so let me redraw that vertical oh, no sorry I need first the line so this point I will need uh, ellipse I want so the ellipse uh, and I also need the line from the mid of uh, line from the mid of this again so ellipse I draw with first point here and the second point here and there here now again I trim the ellipse what I basically need is the portion of the ellipse within the tangents so this portion I trim so in this procedure I created this portion separately and this portion separately so two portions of the ellipses I considered. First I drew the ellipse, I removed the portion between the tangents, then I again drew the ellipse and uh, I uh, kept the portion between the tangents and outside the tangents, so that portion I removed. So that way these became two separate entities. Now this portion I know it is uh, hidden, so I need to change it to cyan color and uh, this line I don't need and uh, this one is also just a construction line so let me remove them so this is the complete picture of the cone in the final position so we complete the problem this way thank you